Now, Rachel, earlier in the show, the rain was right on the doorstep as it finally reached the landing. It is starting to roll in. So some of the Charlotte County Island, Charlotte County itself, and DeSoto County already dealing with some of that heavy rain. So I want to get right to the NBC2 first alert live Doppler radar, and this is pretty much a textbook active view. We have this line of activity that continues to roll in. This is ahead of the cold front that will bring a bit of change to our weather. But again, ahead of that front is this heavy rain. Right now, zooming into DeSoto County, if you are getting ready to hit the road, maybe you have to work overnight into early Monday morning and you take Highway 17, be prepared to use those windshield wipers. A lot of heavy rain stretching up and down the length of that roadway all the way through through DeSoto County and then stretching back into Charlotte County again some pockets of some modern even very heavy rain right along the interstate just southwest of Deep Creek. You see that little bit of uh, pink there that has now just moved a little bit off to the east with a live update there. That's some of the heaviest rain we've seen all evening long. There have been pockets of this, but again, that's a lot of the heavy rain that we are dealing with right now. Also a heavy downpour along 41 Port Charlotte down through Charlotte Harbor and getting ready to cross over the Peace River. Stretching back toward the Cape Hayes Peninsula, Boca Grande, Rotunda, all dealing with the rain, but now that is moving away from Rotunda at this point in time, Gasparilla Island again, Boca Grande, all of that continue to push away and look, there's a little bit more pink starting to show up as well. So just going to show that there's just a lot of heavy rain associated with this little bit of activity before the front and tracking the activity. Now there's moving in from the Gulf now toward the Lee County Islands and letting you know when that's eventually going to impact you. So Burnstorm Arena 1132, also 1132 at the South Seas Island Resort. Cape Coral as this continues to hold together just just about 14 minutes to midnight and then eventually continue to filter into parts of Lee County. Now there will be a bit of weakening as this continues to roll a little bit farther off to the south, but it will also begin to almost reorganize as the front continues to get closer to us. So while I don't think Port Charlotte Arcadia, you are likely not going to have another round of heavy rain at four o'clock. It is likely that there will be a little bit of almost back building as this continues to roll our way, but that also also means a few of these showers will be with us through the morning hours. So for your early morning commute, getting your day started, sending the kids out to the bus stop, you have to be aware of those passing showers. But between eight and nine o'clock, everything starts to fall apart by lunchtime and especially by the time you head home from work, head home from school. We have lots of sunshine and temperatures are going to be a bit more pleasant. Something else is going to be a bit more pleasant, shifting the view now from the radar and talking about all the rain. The humidity dew points right now in the low to mid 70s. This is usually what we deal with during the summertime. Definitely a tropical feel to the air. And that's also one of the reasons why we just have so much rain around the warm conditions, the very humid air and the cold front all sort of perfect ingredients to create that rain and a little bit of thunderstorm activity as well. But look what happens when the front rolls through during the overnight hours. It takes away that high humidity and the higher humidity is expected to stay away from us through the middle portion of the week. But notice it's not far away. It is eventually going to creep back as we start to track yet another cold front. They'll bring more rain and more storm chances as we approach Easter weekend. But once we get through that little bit of rain tomorrow morning again, the rest of the day looking very pleasant. 84 degrees for that high temperature with that lower humidity it will be a touch breezy. So keep that in mind, but overall feeling a little bit more nice to be outside as soon as the rain clears 88 by Tuesday afternoon, but Tuesday morning, one of the coolest of the week starting out at 62 degrees near 90 Wednesday and Thursday. There's that next front Friday into Saturday Easter right now looking cooler than normal, but dry. That's your NBC 2 first alert forecast.